Can I question why the Minister of Education has left? No disrespect for the Minister, I'm sure, but it's disappointing that neither our Minister nor our Line Minister for Education are here for this so, so serious area. Uh, Minister, there's huge concerns in Tipperary over national school, over these special units. The first school I have is Burncourt NS. In December 23, Burncourt National School received a letter from the NCSE for the second autism class for September 2024. They invited enrolments and were ready to offer places last week, but the department has delayed approving their modular accommodation, stating that the NCSE had not sanctioned the class. This class had already been sanctioned a number of months ago, and six children have been selected for places, and now the accommodation is delayed. We need urgent approval of this accommodation, as the Tarnish said last week that any or this week that any class that's a school that's approved should go ahead. Um, it's called Mirror Castle Newa, my own national school, it's the second one. And in July 2017, school Mirror Newcastle was sanctioned the first autism suite. Since, uh, uh, since then, this project has seen delay after delay, and as it stands, uh, this report for stage two was submitted during the fourth quarter of 2023 and remains under review. I am led to believe that there may be further issues and these delays are not acceptable. The school is extremely stuck for space and is renting a community hall in Tigna, Dina, other local communities. This is not satisfactory. The tax was sanctioned almost seven years ago by the department, and the department needs to stick to the side of the bargain, as well as local communities and schools and boards of management and to provide this education as uh, this uh, space as a matter of, of ur urgency and we need a full uh, briefing on the situation here as well it's not fair to the board of management and the moon Tory and the whole school communities in both these cases of Brunco National School and my own in Kostla Newa that this kind of uh, you know breach of breach of trust really <coughs> they had NCSE approval and now they're saying they hadn't our situation they're going back for review after review in Newcastle and we need clarity the schools have enough to do to run the schools and to volunteer. And I salute the teachers, the Montori, and the board of management that will take on these special classes. Some schools won't. And where they're willing, we should be jumping at the opportunity to take these schools places immediately where the communities are willing to accept them and provide them. Thank you. Margaret, I want to thank uh, the deputies for the question and for giving me an opportunity to outline how the Department and the National Council for Special Education continue to support children with special educational needs. At the outset, I want to stress that enabling students with additional needs to receive an education appropriate to their need is an ongoing priority for government. It is a priority to ensure that all children have an appropriate school placement and that the necessary supports are provided to schools to cater for the needs of children with special educational needs. In 2024, €2.7 billion Euro has been spent on special education, an increase of €113 million, Euro, which uh, is dedicated to providing supports for children with special educational needs. This will allow for, amongst other things, the opening up of 400 new special classes in mainstream schools and 300 additional special uh, school places. The NCSE has responsibility for coordinating and advising on the education provision for children with special educational needs nationwide. Over the past number of years, the Department and the NCSE have introduced a number of strategic initiatives to plan for and provide sufficient mainstream special classes and special school places. These initiatives are bearing fruit with over 1,300 new special classes sanctioned and seven new special schools established over the last four years. The Department engaged intensively with the NCSE in relation to the forward planning of new special classes and additional special school places. This forward planning work will, is well underway ahead of 2024-25 school year. And the work involves a detailed review of statistical data in relation to forecasting demand for special class places, an analysis of available school accommodation, consideration of improving data and sharing arrangements, and a particular focus on the provision of special classes at post-primary level. Along with two new special schools opening th this year, uh, 390 new special classes, 254 at primary and 136 at post-primary level, have been sanctioned by the NCSE for opening this school year. Of these, 18 are in Loud, 12 are at primary level and 6 at post-primary level, and 14 are in Tipperary, 5 at primary and 9 at post-primary level. This brings to 88 and 120, respectively, the number of special classes in each county. Any school which seeks to open a special class or indeed further, uh, a further class is to be 
commended. The efforts of schools in doing so is appreciated. However, it may not be possible or appropriate to open classes in every school that expresses or has previously expressed an interest. Classes not sanctioned for this coming year will remain as options should needs arise in later years. The Department, in conjunction with the NCSC, is considering uh, considers it prudent to maximise the use of existing accommodation in schools within geographic areas in the first instance. This consideration is prior to the establishment of any additional special class that may require additional accommodation, for example, modular accommodation. I'll just turn to the uh, schools specifically referenced by the deputies. Michael's Junior Boys School in, North, in, in National School in North Tip in Tipperary Town. The NCSC advised the department that this school expressed an interest in opening a special class. The NCSC advised that there remains available spe special class places in established pl classes in Tipperary Town and the wider area for 24-25 school year. The NCSC will continue to review this on an ongoing basis and will remain in contact at local level with the individual schools and indeed parents seeking a special Pay, uh, placement. Bourncourt uh, National School in Care, the NCSE advised that the department uh, that the school can now accommodate additional special class students within existing accommodation school accommodation for the coming school year. The need for any additional accommodation into the future will be kept under review. Skolvura, Newcastle Clonmel, the department approved a project under the additional school accommodation, the ASA scheme for a special class. The project has been uh, devolved for delivery to the school authority and it appointed a design team to oversee the delivery of the project. Following difficulties experienced by the school in, in, in renting interim modular accommodation, the department approved funding for short-term rental of the local community hall. The department also subsequently approved an application for an increased scope of the project to provide two special classes with central activity space and I'm pleased to advise that the project has secured planning approval and that the architectural report is currently being reviewed by the department. The department will continue to engage directly with the school to provide whatever practical assistance and advice is necessary to implement thank, this important you, project for the wider school community. I'll come back in relation to the Dundalk um, project uh, on the supplementary. Well, well, this is typical minister of what's happening with the NCSE and the department. I wonder if there's any joined up thinking. St. Michael's in Tiberi Town, I heard there from your uh, uh, St. Michael's Junior Bay School has been offering to open uh, class for the last two years, but the NCSE has not approved it so far. It's imperative that a town the size of Tipperary, which has five national schools available has, and, and where a school has offered, that we build them. Minister, I visited that school over the Eastern holidays and met the principal. You said in the reply that there's plenty of ample space within the school. If you saw the conditions that teachers are trying to give special education in, in a tiny room, uh, four or five teachers boxed up with individual students, it's not fit for one, maybe two at most, but it's terrible. And the conditions that they're trying to work in, a school the size of Tipperary Town, they need that and are offering so it should be held. The other two in Burncourt and in Newcastle, I can't believe the reply I'm getting here today because uh, they had approval and I, I don't quite understand, quite frankly, your response about Newcastle. Wait to that. You said it, was, uh, it has planning and it's further engagement with the department. We need these for September. It's approved in Newcastle since 2017. It's just not acceptable. And I'm disappointed that the two, um, the two topics have been, have been bundled together here today because we need teasing out of these problems at, 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 at a more you know, detailed level. So I thank you, last Town Corner, but Minister, I am disappointed. De La Salle Dundalk. Uh, my understanding that last October five students were accepted into the De La Salle College in Dundalk SD unit for a semester starting September 23. However, on uh, March 26 of this year, the De La Salle School called to state that they could no longer uh, offer a place to any of them. The reason given the parents was that the Department of Education are not providing classroom as promised. So that they, though, uh, again, uh, I think you're correct in, ter in terms of the, the date there, uh, the typo on the date that was uh, at quarter four, 2023. Um, but as I said to both deputies, I think um, the, the department will continue to work with the NCSE and in particular in planning for special classes and special school places in counties Loud, Tipperary and nationwide. Uh, that's currently underway uh, ahead of the 2024-25 school year. And the location of new classes for 24-25 will be confirmed by the NCSE shortly. And as demand for new special classes at post-primary level is expected to increase significantly over the next few years due to increasing demographics and increasing prevalence rates, the Department and the NCSC have engaged with the post-primary stakeholders in relation to the provision of special classes. The Department has communicated to post-primary schools nationwide of the need to begin planning to provide additional special classes. It is envisaged that all post-primary schools will be required to provide special classes over the next two to four years, with an approximate average of 
four special classes in each school. The Department will continue to support the NCSE and schools throughout the provision of the necessary funding and capital investment to ensure all children are successful in accessing an education.